guys, and welcome back to Lost Bits, the series where we explore video game content that goes unused, altered, and unseen. Lately, I've sort of been on a streak covering some games that I thought I never would on the channel, so today I figured I'd try tackling another game that's been highly requested by many, Just Shapes and Beats. Now I gotta admit, for a while I straight up confused this title with Geometry Dash, but it turns out they're a bit different. Anyways, as always, if at any point you do enjoy the video, please be sure to let me and the YouTube algorithm know with a like down below. Thanks. And with all of that said, it's time to beat some shapes and check out some lost bits. Alright, so first up we got some unused visuals that can be seen in this here gif of the long live the new fresh boss fight. Here at the top, a multiplayer indicator is seen indicating the shape of players 1 through 4, as well as instructing each player to press start to join a game, much like you'd see in an arcade game or something. I guess in this build, this indicator stuck around for the entire stage, as here it's still there like a quarter way through the song. This must have been removed as it just took up screen space, and let's be honest, it didn't really need to be there for more than a few seconds anyway. Also in this clip, we can see this interesting background effect where differently sized grey rectangles move across the screen. Also seen in some other tweets made by the developers, this effect too, for whatever reason, never made it into the final release we see today. Next up, we got several text strings left over in the game's files that go unused. In addition to classic unused text like we've seen in several videos, like just test, we got other unused text strings like this track is already completed, retry the whole track anyway, probably meant for the game's story mode, playlist is empty, add some tracks to your playlist, which goes unused since it's impossible to actually select an empty playlist, also dealing with playlists is this unused confirmation message, then we got an oops, an empty, Play party mode for 15 minutes straight, which quite explicitly appears to be dealing with an unused challenge to play party mode for that long. Then there's this unused error message for joining a multiplayer lobby that you're already in, which is impossible. Hack the mainframe, which is thought to be related to some currently undiscovered or scrapped easter egg. The text firework is found amongst the rest of the text strings of the game's controls, leading some to believe maybe shooting fireworks was once a planned move. Then we got some unused text meant for what I believe to be a boss fight, mentioning that there aren't any checkpoints in the level, but that you get extra health instead. There's unused text crediting the artist Never Modern Talk, which goes unused since his song isn't normally accessible, but we'll come back to that later in this video. And then there's some leftover text from the demo builds of this game. Next is a weird unused text string that can appear via currently unknown circumstances if the game crashes at the end of the song in a challenge run. Instead of normal special rewards being given to the player, the reward Ribbon's name with the description Ribbon Description will be seen instead. Weird. Earlier this year in 2021, there was a big craze revolving around anti-piracy screens and measures in gaming, both real and not so real. Well, I gotta say, Just Shapes and Beats has one of the most interesting anti-piracy screens ever. Just me talking about it certainly won't do it justice, you really gotta see it for yourselves to fully appreciate it. So here you go, this is what you would see if you had pirated the game. Downloading pirated games is stealing! Da, da, da. Stealing is against the law! <laughs> hey there, Lash here. I just wanted to say that it's okay, I'm not mad. I've played my share of the pirated game when I was a kid, so I guess this is karma, right? I remember when I was a kid, I didn't have any money to support my favorite developer. So I just wanted to say, if you cannot support the game devs with money, you can support them with words. You can talk about them, share the games with everyone, leave a positive review, a good rating, send them a tweet, an email, whatever. Let other people know. That helps us a lot. After all, if some people knows about the game, some of them will have money and buy it. In the end, we just want to be able to create more games. So I hope you had a good time with our game and say good things about it on internet. In the meantime, you can come chat with us live on Berserk.tv if you're interested to see how games are made. So thanks for playing our games, it really appreciated. You're the best, bye! I guess the developers realized the fact that piracy is basically inevitable, so pretty cool to see them try to turn something pretty negative for them into a positive. I really do hope that it worked. And now, saving the best for last, let's talk about some stages that were scrapped from the game, at least as of the making of this video. 
First up, we got the song titled Count Five and Die by Never Modern Talk, as I mentioned earlier. There were other unused songs left over in the past, but they were eventually added in, whereas this one is still unused. But despite being unused, it actually is still playable with a little bit of modding. It's a pretty neat stage with enough saw blades to last a lifetime. But despite it still being able to load in the game, it's not entirely finished, and oh yeah, no checkpoints here either, so you gotta get good or whatever. And last up, we got not only another unused track, but an entire chapter that was cut from this game's story mode. The chapter is simply known as Cavern, and according to the developer of the game, Lash, a cavern world was once being developed for the game, but it was ultimately scrapped due to time constraints, as well as it not meeting the quality standards that had been set for the game. Apparently, this cavern stage was slated to appear between the tutorial stage and Paradise. Although not normally accessible in the game, again, some fans, namely user TCQ2, from who you've been seeing the footage from here, have actually been able to mod the map back into the game. Anyways, this unused chapter would have seen the player get some help from a bird to help fix the path, rescuing the block fella from a cage, helping him out, making him really happy, then leaving, which is really sad, freeing some caged birds, breaking free this triangle, and more. The levels in this chapter also aren't functional, so although we can mostly only speculate as to what they were, Lash explained in one of his live streams that all of the songs in this chapter were meant to be ones made by the artist Cubby. There's also a boss segment at the end in which it's seen that this unused cavern stage at the time of its development was actually meant to introduce the player to the boss instead of in the tutorial as seen in the final game. Similarly, yeah, I guess the stage was going to be the first time the player would have met the cube friend instead of in the paradise stage. And in addition to other otherwise unseen things like the birds carrying the blue cube, here we can also see that at this point in development, the level icons had a square design as opposed to the pentagonal design as seen in the final release. It's a really cool segment, it would have added more character building and backstory, some more emotion to the game, as dang, I'd be lying if this wasn't some sadness right here. And yeah, I just think it had so much potential here, the developers must have had some pretty dang high standards for this to get the axe. Once again, me talking about it won't do it justice, so please, if you want to check it out for yourselves, do check out the video by user TCQ2, I'll have it linked for you down in the description. Either way, I'm really hoping that maybe one day this chapter does get added into the game as some sort of complete edition or free update or something. Okay now, hold on a second. Literally just as I was uploading this video on YouTube, I checked the Twitter account for Just Shapes and Beats, and lo and behold, it looks like there is going to be an update coming out soon called The Lost Chapter. So not exactly sure just exactly what it's going to be quite yet, but based on the name, I got some pretty high hopes. Who knows, might even have to bust out a found bits video in a couple weeks here. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, go check out some more of my lost bits while you're here, and as always, thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I will see you in a bit.